Alright, so it's been a while since I recorded a new vlog and I'm here with my acoustic guitar. This morning I have maybe 10 minutes just to practice so I just need to go through some basic stuff. And tonight we're going to um, rehearse uh, with a new trio and I'm going to, um, we're going to actually uh, try to um, uh, build a new uh, Fender trio, so with a Fender bass, a Fender guitar, and try to build uh, a repertoire to play together. So super excited about that. Yeah. And we're going to play some Andrew tune like um, uh, Power to Soul. Yeah, definitely a really nice tune that I really like. So this is a great opportunity to um, play some Andrix tune. And also we're going to rehearse Fee Five for Farm, a uh, way shorter tune. Um, kind of style actually, so trying to remember the melodies like a So can't wait to rehearse tonight with this trio and hopefully have some um, live concert in the near future. Yeah, so I don't have time today to practice a lot, but I need to um, warm up a little bit. And um, when I don't have time, I try to uh, maybe take uh, one arpeggio, for instance, this is a G7 arpeggio, and just practice uh, the arpeggio up and down the, uh, the, f the fingerboard. Wow. Yeah, so I'm just trying to uh, play. Uh, yeah. All right. And again. Yeah, so it's trying to be a uh, uh, focus just on arpeggio. Uh, maybe really slow also. a bit, maybe um, find some new um, stuff. Right. So yeah, thinking about G7. some legato it's good yeah. to play legato on the acoustic guitar because uh, you really have to pay attention 
of the tails. Right, so yeah. And now I'm thinking about G, um, G7 Mixolydian, but actually I'm, I'm also trying to play some. You can see I'm playing um, uh, I'm playing a drop three voicing a C major seven drop three voicing. See, so this is this one maybe, and try to maybe wow maybe come up with some new some new idea. Trying to use some chromatic line. I'm trying to be creative with uh, this scale. Like, uh, yeah, it's super important to play just arpeggios on the guitar because you really get to know all the notes on the fretboard, so it's super important. But after that, of course, you have to know uh, where's the root, the major third, the fifth, the minor seven, so really. A lot of work actually because uh, you have to explore um, any part of the fretboard, so super important for a guitar player. But um, but also you have to experiment and try uh, to experiment lines. So um, see, so yeah, I know uh, where the chord tones are, so I can easily. Easily play like more chromatic. See, so this is the arpeggio. See, so I play, yeah, so because I want to reach the measure third here, so I want to reach the uh, D that is the fifth, and here I want to reach the uh, A that is the ninth. So from here, I just play chromatic. From G to A, right? So this is um, a way to uh, to practice. So uh, yeah, you have to figure out how your pages. Maybe try with just two or three arpeggio and try to move around. Okay, so creating so you, you can really start to make music with these arpeggios. Uh, otherwise, you're going to play just arpeggio. Okay, that is good, of course. I, I'm not telling you to not practice arpeggio like this because I do and I did a lot of this but yeah of course chaos up and down the fretboard so you definitely need to practice all the figurings for in this case is the uh, C major scale of course Maybe try to combine your arpeggio, maybe see how many chromatic note, yeah. So definitely gotta go now, and uh, yeah, so I can't wait for the rehearsal tonight. And Alright, so the vlog for today is done, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to record tonight, so you're gonna see some um, rehearsal in this vlog, maybe, I don't know. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.